Well, that's one of the best-known opening guitar riffs in rock. The song is the 1985's monster hit, Money for Nothing. But now Canadian radio stations playing it may find themselves in dire straits because of a word deemed offensive. Deanna Sumanak explains. It's one of the tunes that rang in the MTV generation. Dire Straits' Money for Nothing was even the first video MTV Europe ever aired. But now, a complaint by a single listener of a St. John's hard rock station could make it difficult for you to hear the song in Canada, at least in its original version. The listener alleged that the use of the word faggot in the song was extremely offensive to gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgendered people and Canadian Broadcast Standards Council agrees. Today, the non-governmental organization ruled that the song be pulled from its member stations, hundreds of private radio stations across the country. We determined that that is a word which, even if it had a level of acceptability years ago, is no longer acceptable for broadcast purposes. Radio personality Alan Cross works for Chorus Entertainment, a member of Canadian Broadcast Standards Council. He says the use of the word in question does make him cringe, but... You have to think that the song was, uh, was not written by somebody who had an agenda. Mark Knopfler was simply taking notes about what he heard, some guys who were moving refrigerators, microwave ovens, and color TVs, uh, and quoting them. He's quoting a character. And mocking that character's homophobia. And it's that threat to the artist's ability to use satire that worries Canadian singer-songwriter Luke Doucette. Doucette used the very same word in one of his songs, also quoting a homophobic character. Art is intended to be viewed with a certain degree of nuance, and if subtext and context are not considered, then what are we left with? And what does that say about the way we're supposed to create art? Does it mean we have to dumb it down more than it's already been dumbed down? Dumbed down? Perhaps not. But from today, only the sanitized version of Money for Nothing will be played on most Canadian private radio stations. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto.